to teach uh, these courses during summer holidays, holidays or not? Because uh, uh, this uh, them uh, vacations and they mostly travel for their home to another country. There is a cons and bonds in uh, this topic. Cons uh, is uh, to for students is to finish most uh, more courses uh, fast, and for teachers is money. But the bonds is uh, most of them want uh, holiday, they want to have rest, and uh, as well as the students. Well, I suggest maybe you take uh, voting. From students and teachers. Well, th that is also a part of our agenda, but uh, but uh, we the, the voting we not decided it will be done uh, by teachers or by students, or we will do the joint voting. Let's go one by one. Now we are on the first point only, which is uh, increasing these classes. What do you people suggest? Shall we go for this thing or not? Of course, we will ask the teachers' opinion. And if uh, motivational factor, the, the, the monetary rewards are there, I'm sure they will, they will accept it. Yes. It seems we are facing a, a second problem with the... Uh, they are going to stop the summer courses. And uh, we need to push uh, to have a, a different uh, idea to uh, convince them to, uh, to re-recognize uh, their decision about the, uh, this issue. I think it will be very helpful to have uh, two, one or two courses uh, for each summer, and uh, it should be distributed between the whole students to make sure, sure it uh, will be will suit them and will cover the whole catalog. <coughs> what do you think? Uh, I agree with you. Uh, and. Uh, uh, as you mentioned, when we increase the number of courses uh, during summer holidays, uh, it will help uh, PM students, especially, to graduate uh, fastly and save uh, their time if they want to complete uh, a, high, a high education. Uh, that you really all of, all of us uh, agrees to uh, also to increase the number of courses. Uh, more than two. Yes. How many courses can be done? Usually three months are there, so we can go. We can't go more than three courses. And the maximum period that uh, it's only two months. Uh, the maximum period for each course is around three weeks. Three weeks. As so it's, uh, we go for three courses. Yes. Okay. Three courses. Okay. okay every semester three courses will. Yeah. Even if some students are failed, they will have a chance to complete in during their tenure. Yes. All right. Now, Should be, yeah. our uh, fourth point, now we have completed three points. Our fourth point is, if the teachers are not interested. Uh, it should be, uh, uh, we should force them uh, to make sure uh, they will uh, attend. Second thing, uh, we can uh, uh, reward them by uh, or an uh, incentive uh, any type of incentive for example uh, extra bonuses commissions or what if and there is no incentive from over there yes uh, we should uh, just uh, judge them on the credits they uh, they exceed in one year uh, if they uh, did not uh, exceed the limits of credits they need to cover the summer uh, courses as usual it, it's one of the good practices in market What do you think, Mr. Abdullah? Uh, I see uh, in this condition, uh, we should uh, negotiate with the teacher, and uh, we we should uh, offer a, be, uh, a good uh, offer uh, for them. Like uh, if uh, if we uh, paid extra fees, uh, we should pay a good fees for them to attract them to study uh, to uh, to teach in the summer uh, but uh, in this condition in, the, in this condition they will uh, 
I don't think they will. They, there are any days or they, I, I mean, uh, there are any months uh, will will left for uh, their holidays or it will finish. Yes, it's just once a year. That will it's be, possible. That will leave it on what? Yes. What, what if the students uh, refuse to pay fees, exactly, or summer holiday, as in this is a government uh, college for free, of course, uh, why you should pay, pay for that? There should be something to cover the expenses. So we, we, not we can do something else. Um, yeah, yeah, good budget for if the, what do you think, if the session? teacher is uh, teaching during her holidays, she will ask extra amounts. Okay, but still, why, why student pay? Yes. Uh, because the government wants to finish fast. Okay. But we can do something uh, year by year. That's me. You have only in two years, one year you should say pass with one holiday. For example, if a uh, number of uh, teachers cover the summer uh, courses for this year, the following year they should be going on leave. For, sh for, for, uh, for a long period. No, no, they should take it. For the second, for the same year we are facing, we should, uh, uh, yeah, the, another teacher should be covered this uh, summer holidays. You know, to be switching. Alternative. Alternative. Yes. So there is, so you are suggesting there is no extra fees to be paid to them. Yes. No. These are to be charged to the student. That's me leaving. It's also uh, according to the labor law. I think uh, they are uh, applicable. In two years they should take one, only one one holiday. We have, to, we have to see the legality. Yes. On the other hand, uh, if the DMC teachers uh, refuse to teach in the summer, we can, uh, like, uh, we can ask uh, uh, Dubai women's college teachers to participate in teaching in holiday if they are interested, or from another emirate. So uh, basically, we will allow them to sail their leave. Yes. They will get the leave salary. And they will get the salary also because they work that month. Exactly. We are doing that way. That, yeah. that, that should work. So we should search first. Allow yes. Allow and search. Them to work. Okay. Can we pinch mark also? Leave. Can we pinch mark if there is any uh, good practices in the market? Uh, good practices? Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Ahmed just means he can do the research and get us the uh, okay. results. So Ahmed, the uh, action plan to Ahmed is yes. to research. When, when do you want to? Better ways. Yes, within a couple of weeks. Better and ways. Within two uh, weeks. Better ways. Benchmark. With uh, the benchmark. Any, yes. To and use existing feature. Yes, and for some summer course. Feature for summer course. All right. And I'm going to do that. Okay, our uh, sixth, uh, sixth uh, fifth uh, agenda is uh, what will be the minimum number of students required to open any course? Yes. At least I think it's 10 uh, students, minimum. Only? What do you think, Mr. Uh, uh, yes. It depends on uh, the fee that the teacher take. For example, if the co one course they pay 6,000 and the student pay 1,000, which so is the minimum of 6. There's a first agenda. We are not charging. Mm -hmm. Not charging? No, no they're not charging. We are allowing them to sell their uh, leave. Yes. Okay. If the minimum is uh, 10, the, the maximum will be... We should reduce the number or we should increase the number? Uh, it's students. better to increase it. Why should I assign my resources just for 10 students? Mm -hmm. So what? we will put uh, the student has to convince each other to come. So we'll make uh, 15. What do you think? Abdullah? Or 20. 20 or maybe 2. Minimum is 15. Maximum mm -hmm. can go for 24, not an issue. And should be also a maximum. 24? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Who will decide uh, which course will be taken? Shall, uh, uh, shall we see which teacher agree and then we give them the choices to the, to the students or we just give them? We should just uh, uh, distribute the courses upon the uh, uh, catalog. And what courses no. should be covered? What the, if the teacher is not available? Shall we see first teacher availability, then student? Uh, I think it's the courses more, more the most important because it's uh, uh, the weightage of each courses. Uh, you can't teach any type of courses uh, in the uh, summer, comparing to uh, 
this semester. What do you think, Mr. Adam? And also, uh, we should uh, concentrate on the peri period of the summer because uh, some courses we can done it in two we two months, but uh, others we couldn't finish. Mr. Ahmed? I think the uh, teacher maybe should decide which course they should. I think this will the same because if there is no teacher, how you can open the course? Exactly. That, that means we just uh, so sequence will yes, be yeah. first to check Between the teacher, teacher yes. then to check students. Exactly. So if the teachers are uh, agreed and students are equal to more than 50, mm -hmm. we will proceed. Good. All right. Done. Uh, what will happen if those courses clashes with during uh, Ramadan? Shall we still start? What effect it will be? Yeah, we need a, a questionnaire for a survey to know what's the uh, feedback. We need from the feedback from students. Does it suit them to, to have uh, courses in Ramadan or not? And we need our uh, legal uh, advisor to give us a clear idea about the law, if they can allow us in the uh, it should be a holiday or something in uh, Ramadan and we are not uh, allowed to give uh, students uh, courses in this period. It should be a holiday. Bottom line, shall we go for extra classes in summer or not? No, uh, we can go if uh, it is possible for uh, students and teachers. For teachers, then students. Uh, Mr. Ahmed? What do you think? Yeah, we should go. Okay. We have our yeah, guest, we'll honorable guest, Mr. Jasim, what do you suggest? Uh, yes. I suggest uh, from my side of view to check first of all with the uh, teachers. Yeah, we'll they can uh, offer uh, this course and how fast can they do it for sure. Uh, really period in Ramadan, it should be shorter than the regular summer classes. Yeah, just give us a just a brief about you. Are you representing the students? students? Yes. 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 Uh, I and think as a student, I prefer, I prefer to 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 get uh, short classes in Ramadan, where you know most of all of the students are fasting, so it should be easy to them, and uh, they should get a flexible subject, which which means easy to understand and to cover. Yes. Good, good. Thank you, Mr. Jasmine. Mr. Sabi? Uh, I'm trying to make it a shorter the action plan. The first is convincing teachers, checking number of students, uh, avoiding clashes with Ramadan, mm. trying for three course each in each summer and trying each summer courses each summer uh, mostly trying library courses yes courses not very tough exactly so these are our action plan and uh, I think we cut the, the benchmark benchmark of uh, using okay, that Mr. Yeah. Ahmed knows about. He will get us the full information about the uh, the benchmark and, and uh, market and also okay. the student surveys and teachers. Good. Okay, so Any extra uh, we can add to our agenda? Agenda is uh, about we don't mind to give you students three courses a semester, but it's all based on teachers' availability, and then number of students should be more than equal to more than fifty. Good. Agree? Yes, okay. Agree. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for coming. Good to have you here. Thank you, Mr. Jasser. A lot. Thank you, Mr. 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 Thank you, Mr.